After more than seven years of... When are you going to release your tax returns? Uh, probably over the next few months. They're being worked on right now. Well, I'm not releasing the tax returns because, as you know, they're under audit. And a long legal and political battle that eventually led to the Supreme Court. Former President Donald Trump's tax returns have been released. And the documents raise more questions about the former president's taxes and how the IRS handled them. Here's what we know and don't know about Trump's finances and why the returns were finally released. First, the numbers. Through 2015 and 2020, the six years that were made public, the joint returns show that Donald and Melania Trump's reported income varied widely. For several years, it was negative tens of millions, and then positive, then negative again. For someone who's got business income flowing into their individual tax return, it just doesn't look like a wage earner's tax return. It's, it's different. It is normal for businesses, whether it's real estate business, which particularly tends to have a lot of deductions, or just a regular business that will have up years and down years, will go up and down with the business cycle. The amount of income taxes paid varied widely, too. For two of the years that they were in the red, the Trumps only paid $750 in income taxes. In another year, they paid zero. But this was expected. You're going to be surprised at how little I pay. He didn't pay any federal income tax. So that makes if me he's smart. paid... Yes, he was not paying taxes because he had losses that he claimed. But there's key questions about whether those losses were legitimate and legal. And those are some of the things the IRS is looking at. Another thing the IRS is looking at, millions in tax credits. The nonpartisan committee that released them specifically wants the IRS to look into foreign credits, like this one while Trump was in office. The committee also flagged Trump's reported loans given to his children and mentioned whether they could have been potential gifts, which should have been taxed differently. Other questions rose around large charitable contributions before his presidency. But these are all questions and not answers because the IRS hasn't finished its audits. The weird thing is we have this like snapshot moment where we have some information about him, but then things are going to change. The committee's report raised questions not just for the continuing audit, but around the entire process. It's IRS policy for the president and vice president to be audited. It happens to every administration, at least since the 1970s. Because people have got to know whether or not their president is a crook. Well, I'm not a crook. It's like a check on the executive branch itself, on someone who's above the IRS. There's no formal process, but audits are generally done soon after the returns are submitted. So in theory, the audit for Trump's 2016 return should have started in 2017 while he was president. 2017's in 2018. You get it. But instead, this is when the committee says those audits began. None began the first two years of his presidency. The first one for 2015 began April 3rd, 2019. That was the same day the House committee chairman sent the first letter to the IRS requesting Trump's tax returns. It was just three months after Democrats took control of the House after the midterm elections. And Democrats said getting Trump's tax returns would be one of their first actions. And then I assumed that there would be a court case that would go on for a period of time. He was right. That first letter kicked off a back and forth between the committee and the Trump administration. The Treasury Secretary argued the law wasn't clear. It is our intent to follow the law, and that is in the process of being reviewed. Mr. Trump and his Treasury Secretary are stonewalling us. But two years later, the new Biden administration's Justice Department said the law showed the Treasury could release the returns. And a court battle began, with Trump himself suing to block the release. It eventually got to the Supreme Court. They declined to intervene, defaulting to the last appeals court ruling. The committee had the right to the returns. By a week later, they had them in hand. A month later, they voted to release the returns publicly. Oh, it's a journey. I was writing stories during the 2016 campaign about him saying he's under audit and him saying he's not going to release his returns voluntarily. So really, it's a seven and a half year legal and political fight over this norm of disclosure. The returns likely won't change anything for the former president and 2024 presidential candidate. But it might change how the IRS handles these presidential audits in the future. Thank you.